Welcome everyone with your program Peels of Yunnan who invade the most successful story and person here in UAE. Today from Dubai City with Dr. Fayouza. everyone with your program Pills of Human who made the most successful story and person here in UAE today from Dubai City with the Dr. Fayrouza Gafarova. Welcome doctor. Thank you. We Welcome. are so happy to meet you today. Very nice to meet you as well. So doctor uh, from the beginning we need today to know more details about you and to present you for everyone. Sure so uh, I'm originally from Uzbekistan I came to Dubai more than uh, 10 years ago and I'm currently practicing more than seven years here in UAE. Actually my uh, journey started um, in one of the centers here in Dubai. I worked for Diabetes Center as my background is endocrinology. I do have a master's degree in endocrinology, that's my main specialty. So I started as a diabetes ed educator, I worked as a general physician. Later on, I moved to Medcare Women and Children Hospital. I do have a two years experience as an emergency physician in internal medicine. And later on, I chose a more specialized uh, practice in integrative functional medicine. So it's anti-aging, integrative and functional medicine, which is a relatively new. Uh, here in Dubai, uh, this uh, kind of practice has been started here in about, about 15 years ago by one of the founders, uh, Dr. Graham Simpson. He was one of my mentors. And I do have uh, Dr. Rashad Haddad, who, was also, who is also my current mentor, who helped me and guided me to choose this uh, specialty here in Dubai. So doctor, the person who helped you, uh, the person who support you, some message for him. Yes, yeah, so I've been quite grateful. I did have uh, two great mentors in my life who actually helped me to proceed with my subspecialization that guided me to this field. Uh, there are two great doctors. It's Dr. Rashad Haddad, who actually opened for me a uh, world of anti-aging medicine and guided me and helped me to proceed with that career. And uh, Dr. Graham Simpson, he is another uh, great mentor in, that, uh, in this field that helped me to proceed and uh, to start my first experience in this field. And of course, I'm very grateful for my family, for my husband and for my parents that have been always supportive, guided me uh, with their patience uh, for me to be where I am today. The supporting of uh, these doctors is very important for you, but sure that you have some challenge uh, to be in this position, uh, to work here in UAE. Yes, of course, every specialty, every work has its certain uh, challenge, but we are lucky here in Dubai that this field is quite supported, and we are lucky that we have all the tools that are needed to work in this field. We, are, we have an access to different kind of functional medicine testings, we have an access to the bioidentical hormones, to peptides, to multiple supplements. So basically these are my main tools that I use in my practice. And uh, plus we have an access to send all the tests uh, outside as well. We have many machines that can be used in this practice and so on. Since I'm more in the endocrinology general, um, general practice and uh, anti-aging medicine, I, I don't do the surgeries, I don't do that part, so, but I work with the, with the lab testing and we work with all the uh, natural things that can help you to stay young and healthy. Before 10 years maybe, Dr. Feruza chose this uh, 
the city Dubai uh, for life and uh, for uh, her career. So why you choose uh, Dubai? What is special in this place? Well, first of all, Dubai, of course, uh, has been quite attractive uh, all over the world, and it's uh, Dubai is a city of uh, future, I would say, that has rapidly developed. And of course, we have an access here to all the latest technology, to all latest medical inventions, and um, all everything that we need, we can find here. Since I'm from Uzbekistan, it's quite close to my country, if we think about from that pathway. And it happened to be that my family, my husband, he moved here over 10 years ago. That's how I, we came along uh, with the family, with the kids, uh, after he has moved his job here. And I would say it was one of the best decisions, because we've been quite happy that uh, we established our life, our second home in Dubai. It gave a lot of opportunities. Sure. Uh, Dr. Feruza, what do you think about the supporting for, from the government for all doctors uh, now? They give him a uh, very opportunity of work, they give him a gold visa also to work in this Yes, country. exactly. I've been quite um, delighted and I'm quite happy to say that I am also one of the holders of the golden visa, thankful to the government that they have been supporting so much. Uh, medical field, especially doctors, encouraging to uh, continue car their career here. And of course, it's quite important that because you do feel that it's more um, established and that you have like a long term plans with the, this kind of visa. Mm -hmm. About the medical system in uh, UAE, what do you think, a doctor, uh, this medical system, uh, this uh, supporting uh, to be in? Uh, number one, like uh, Dubai here, uh, this medical system with uh, supporting from the government, the person here in UAE? Yes, of course, we do feel a big support uh, from the governmental part as well, because uh, we are lucky that we can, we as a doctors, we have an access to, um, to participate in different international congresses. You can, you have an access to all the latest inven events, inventions, uh, you know, conferences, congresses, uh, everything is available here in Dubai. You basically don't even need to travel anywhere because uh, you have access to all of that here. And the, the medical system itself, of course, it works uh, quite well. Uh, it's uh, with all the insurances system, everything is accessible for, to any kind of patient. Uh, you are a general uh, doctor and uh, you have a specialty anti-aging medicine. Right. Some person then they don't know what exactly this is speciality. If you explain for him this one. Yes, it's quite interesting. So basically, uh, my main specialty is endocrinology. I have my third degree in endocrinology and plus the subspeciality in integrative functional and anti-aging medicine. What what does it mean? So basically, we have a conventional medicine where we have a certain approach that we follow certain protocols and so on. And we have integrative functional medicine that looks at the same medical problems in a bit different approach. It's more of the alternative treatment. When we talk about, let's say, functional medicine, uh, the difference between conventional medicine and the func uh, con functional medicine is when we look at the root cause of the problem. We try conventional medicine, unfortunate design is that uh, when we have a patient, let's say, with the blood pressure, we give directly a medicine. If a patient has a sugar problem, we give a medicine. Unfortunately, um, regular doctor doesn't have enough time to spend with the patient to talk about lifestyle, maybe certain dietary guidance and so on. Functional medicine is more designed to understand the root cause of the problem, to try to connect things uh, between different organs and the systems and actually work on the root cause of the problem. Let's say if the patient is coming with multiple problems, let's say it's, it is diabetes, it's a blood pressure, it's a cholesterol, all of them they can have one root cause problem that we need to work on, basically changing patient's diet, uh, more exercise, maybe giving certain supplements before we think about actual medicine. So it's more of the natural approach to manage the same medical problems, more of the alternative out of the box approach that we can use and guide the patient when conventional medicine is not helpful enough. Yeah. Anti-aging medicine, basically, unfortunately, as many patients, they ask me for that, what, is, what does it mean? We all want like a magic pill or something that 
can keep us young and beautiful. Unfortunately, no, but anti-aging medicine is focused to keep you young and healthy as long as possible. But it's more of the in and out approach. It's not just or taking one or two medicine. It's a whole system. Again, it starts with the basics, with the diet and exercise, taking certain supplements, maybe taking certain uh, natural hormones, maybe taking peptides, everything that can enhance your inner health to keep you, uh, not, not, not just to make you live longer, it's actually to improve the quality of your life. Our conventional medicine can lead us to, um, to live up to 100 years, but you might be having numerous problems. You might be taking numerous medications, bedridden, you know, have all the low quality of life. Anti-aging medicine, integrative medicine, wants, makes you not only to increase your lifespan, but increase your quality of life, increase your health span, to increase the years when you are staying healthy, not just making you live longer. Yeah, it's a big difference. So it's all about quality of life. That's what basically anti-aging medicine is about. Uh, Dr. Feruza, sure that you have after this experience some patient special or some result is special for you. Yes, of course, we do have uh, great results with the weight loss and more on the natural approach with the minimal medications. I do have great results with the patients uh, on bioidentical hormonal treatments, improving patients' quality of life, especially in the menopause. In women, when they go through the menopause at earlier age, the same with men as well, we optimize hormonal balance that improves a lot the quality of the life. And we don't look as an integrative functional medicine physician, we don't look just at the reference range of the lab test, let's say. Because you might feel completely different uh, staying on the different uh, level of the reference range. So we want to optimize your hormones, your vitamins, your minerals, and it is related to many diseases. So of course, yes, there are many successful stories when sometimes even small things can make a big difference in patient's life. Uh, doctor, if uh, we send some um, advice for the person, men and women, mm -hmm. about uh, to this uh, anti-aging medicine and how we help us uh, with our lifestyle, with our food, our system of life, how can do it, uh, this one, um, to get this good result? I would say if a person is having uh, chronic conditions, of course, we need to optimize that first. Yeah, We need to make sure that whatever we have, whether it's a blood pressure or diabetes or maybe it's a thyroid problem, it has to be optimized. And then we can think, of course, uh, on further, let's say, longevity and anti-aging. One of the best tools, one of the most powerful tools, I would say, is a bioidentical hormonal replacement therapy that women and men, they can seek for it or they, they can check for their hormonal levels at the age of at least 40 plus. Sometimes it's needed even earlier. So optimization of hormonal balance is one of the uh, main tools in anti-aging longevity. And then the next steps could be looking at the peptides, looking possibly at the stem cell therapy, some additional uh, device-based uh, treatments and, and so on. There are numerous tools and it's all individualized approach. It's, it's not like one program that fits all. We have to, that's how, that's how it is prescribed by a doctor based on uh, patient's history and um, presentation. Doctor, if I ask you about your future plan now after this experience, big experience in UAE and in your country also, what do you think about the future? I think that uh, Dubai's uh, medical future in medicine is great. Uh, my personal plans are to stay in Dubai, to further develop in integrative functional anti-aging medicine, to establish my name and to be well known in uh, this position. Wish you all the best, uh, Dr. Fayruza. Uh, from your side, we need a motivation message for the new doctors to give him also support for life and uh, for his work. Yeah, I suggest that the new generation of doctors uh, need to be a bit more open-minded. They need to think a bit of out of the box. Unfortunately, we all, as a conventional doctors, we are limited to certain protocols. We are limited to. Uh, it has to be, of course, evidence-based uh, medicine, but sometimes we need to think about, we need to implement alternative uh, medicine in our practice as well, which 
definitely improves and enhances your practice as a doctor and you are able to uh, help to much more patients and improve their quality of life. Doctor, you said that uh, UAE is uh, your second home. So a message from your side for all the persons they help you here in this country. Yes, exactly. I do consider uh, UAE, Dubai, especially my second home since I've been living here for more than 10 years. I'm quite grateful and thankful for the government for to have this opportunity for international doctors uh, to work here, to live with the family and actually have a great quality of life for the safety, for the level of the education that we have here. For everything that we have here, of course, we are uh, quite uh, grateful and thankful. Thank you so much, Dr. Rafael Uza. We are so happy to meet you today, like a great example of doctors here in UAE. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you so much, everyone. See you next week with Pearls of Union program. دبي تعطي كمان وظل القيادة الرشيدة اللي فيها اللي هي حببت الناس والعالم كله في هالبلد فأنا بالفعل فخور بنفسي وبفخور بهالدولة الطيبة لبناني أنا شخصيا ابن مصر قيام على البلد ليل مع نهار تركيز ما كنا وصلنا اللي وصلنا أنا والله عمري من عمري خمس سنين وأنا تحت البوش وهذا يعني اللي ما له ماضي الله يرحم أبوي زايد ما له حاضر فاليوم الكل عايش سواء موافد أو مواطن نحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نحن في أمان وفي استقرار وفي أحلى يعني وين ما تروح تلقى أنك أنت بين أخوانك وبين أهلك وبين ربعك وبين عشيرتك وبين الجميع